Hey everybody, today is Saturday, December 17th, 2022, and we're here in Gap, Pennsylvania to take a look at something pretty awesome that I knew I had to get back out to, to take a look at. For whatever reason, earlier this summer I was out here and um, our GPS took us down this road that we don't normally go down. Normally, there's a major highway right down there that I take out to Lancaster County all the time. Anytime I wanna go out to the Lancaster County area or out to the Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania area, I drive down this major highway, but for whatever, whatever reason, our GPS took us down this little road right here, and uh, when we came down the road, I saw something pretty amazing, something that I knew I had to eventually get back out to to take a look at. So I chose today, a very cold, very, very, very cold day in December to actually come back out here and take a look at this. As you can see, this actual building right here, it's got the old town clock cheese shop, and the actual building itself is called the Town Clock Apartments which is pretty awesome. Look at, look at that. And the reason for that is because what used to actually sit on top of this building, or so I was told anyway, what actually used to, there's a major highway right here, what actually used to sit on top of this building was a town clock, very similar to this little miniature version of what we're actually gonna take a look at in a second. Look at that, Gap Town Clock, little miniature version sitting right here at the apartment complex, at the cheese, the cheese shopping. That is so cool. So apparently, originally, on top of this building right here, by the way, we're gonna cross the road, mind, mind the poop. We are in Lancaster County. There are, we're gonna get by a car. We are in Lancaster County. There are a lot of Amish people out here, lots of horse and buggies. When you're crossing roads in Lancaster County, always look down, always watch for the horse poop that is everywhere out here. But anyway, supposedly, from what I was told, on top of that building right there, used to actually sit a clock tower. They were gonna tear it down and the town said, no, we wanna save it. So right here in the middle of the highway, they actually built this really awesome giant clock tower, which is really cool. And then in the 50s, the, the actual department, the transportation, the, the Pennsylvania Transportation Authority actually said, hey, we know we, re we need to redo the road. We cannot have a giant clock tower sitting in the middle of the road anymore. So no worries, the town actually saved it and moved it off to the side. And now we have the Gap Town Clock. How cool is that? The Gap Clock Tower. That is pretty amazing. As you see right here, the village of Gap. We got the Boy Scouts of America, Lions Club, Veterans of Foreign War, Girl Scouts, and the Fire Department. That is awesome. And of course, a wonderful American flag here. There's also a little monument, a World War I, World War II plaque out here, which is really cool. And there's even a historical placard out here as well that gives you a little bit of information about the actual clock tower. The Gap Clock Tower, unique on American highways, was erected by the people of Gap in 1892. It was restored in 1953. The clock's face, long telling the time to passing multitudes on the Newport Road, overlooks at the Gap William Penn's entrance into Conestoga, now Lancaster County, in 1701. So we're actually right here on the corner of Gap, Newport Pike, and Strasburg Road, Bridge Street. If you guys wanna see where this is, if you guys wanna know where this is, if you guys wanna come out here and visit this, you definitely should. So that's where we actually are. Look at this, Gap Town Clock. How cool is that? So like I said, supposedly the actual clock tower, I guess it was much smaller at one point, maybe like the size of a little miniature one there. You used to sit on top of the actual building right there. Then they saved it. They were gonna tear it down. They're gonna take it off the building. And they said, no, the town said, no, we wanna save it. So they put it right here. They built an amazing clock tower right in the middle of the highway back the year before, before the highway was what it is now before there was this much traffic constantly going by. We've got a clock tower in the middle of the highway, looking probably looking pretty amazing that I guess you would have had to have driven around. And then when the transportation authority said, no, you gotta move it, it's in the way, somebody's gonna smash into this, it, 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 it causes issues, you have to move it. The town said, well, fine, we'll move it over to the side of the highway. And now it sits here for passing motorists to still take a look at to this day. It's so awesome they actually save this, that is really, Really cool, the Historical Preservation Trust Site, Lancaster County. Look at that. We've actually decorated it a little bit for Christmas here with the wreath. That is awesome. Fortunately, no, we cannot go inside. If we could actually go in, I, I gotta be honest, if the door opened up, I would totally go inside. We're not supposed to go inside, but if the door opened up, I would go inside. Because what I read, you're actually able to walk upstairs that go all the way up to the very top. I mean, we, we can't do it, but if we could get inside, there are stairs that do go to the very, very top. You can see there's a little window right there. 
and the stairs apparently go all the way up to the clock and then all the way up to a little like pergola that's up there as well. There's a bell tower up there. And supposedly from what I heard, you can go up there. Well, we, again, we cannot go up there, but if you have permission, you could go up there. You could climb the actual staircase and go to the very top of the bell tower and look out all over Gap, Pennsylvania. How amazing would that be? I don't know who you have to talk to to do that, but if I could find the person who's in charge, and if I could get permission to actually go up there to the very top and look around, I would totally do that. I would definitely take you guys up there. I'd be very winded. I'd be, I'd be out of breath. I wouldn't be able to breathe by the time I actually got to the very top of this tower, but I would do it. And I would take you guys up there. And I would show you out all over Gap, Pennsylvania. That'd be so amazing. That'd be so cool. But I don't know, again, I don't know who I, who I actually have to talk to. Oh my God, it's so cold. I don't know who I actually have to talk to to do that. I might have to contact the Historical Preservation Society, see if they know anything. And if they do, maybe they can get me up there. That'd be pretty amazing. Like I said, I had to come back out here because for whatever reason, like I said, our GPS took us down this road right here, brought us down these back, back little roads right here. And I drove past this, having no idea this even existed. I immediately pulled my camera out, pulled my phone out of my pocket. And I started snapping some pictures out my car window. I'm like, I don't know what this is, but I'm coming back. That is amazing. So I was actually gonna be out here today. I'm heading out to the Lancaster County area. I'm heading out to Strasburg, Pennsylvania area. So since I was heading out this way, I figured today's a day where I'm gonna stop and take a look at the clock tower off this very, very, very busy, very noisy highway. Actually, right before I started filming, some horse and buggies came by. I was really hoping maybe some more horse and buggies would be coming by as we were filming. Again, we are in Lancaster County. There are a lot of Amish people out here. All these farms out here are like all our Amish farms. And there were some horse and buggies that came by as, hi, <laughs> there were some horse and buggies. I don't know who that is. There were some horse and buggies that actually came by as I was pulling in to, to park here at the, at the cheese shoppy. But unfortunately, like I said, it was actually, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of the, out of the cheese shoppy. That's the, that's the entrance right there where there's a car parked now. I might be blocked in, but anyway, so horse and buggies were coming by. It was pretty awesome, pretty cool. And I was hoping to actually show you some of them, but sadly, I don't see any more horse and buggies here, but when you are in Lancaster County, you will see them. I guarantee you, as I'm heading to my desk, my final destination, as I'm going down the highway, I'm probably gonna drive past about 475,000 horse and buggies. I'm gonna have to drive around them, which is a ton of fun to do. So, all right guys, again, Gap, Pennsylvania, the village of Gap, Pennsylvania. Pretty awesome, pretty cool, very old, historical, 18, or sorry, yes, 1892. 1892, clock tower that still, stands used to stand on top of that building right there then moved then actually transformed into a giant clock tower that sat right in the middle of the highway right on this intersection right here and then eventually in the 50s moved to the side for all to still see and admire and enjoy i'm so happy they saved this it is so cool looking and like i said i'm gonna have to find out who who maybe runs the preservation society or who's in charge of the clock tower and see if we can't maybe possibly get up inside there. That'd be so cool. That view must be amazing. I mean, it's all, it's all farm country, as you can see. I can only imagine how amazing that view actually looks. There's a hill right here as well. That's the crest of the hill right there. You can definitely look over top of the crest of the hill, probably looking out all over more farmland out that way as well. That'd be so incredibly awesome. But all right guys, it is extremely cold. My hand is officially frozen to my camera right now. Why do I always choose to come out to these places when it's so brutally cold? I don't know, but I had to pull over and I had to check this out today. I wanted to bring you guys back out here to see the clock tower because it is so amazing and it is so awesome. And that is just the coolest thing ever. Look at, I mean, seriously, that is awesome. I love this kind of stuff. I love history. And I love weird, bizarre roadside oddities. And I'm going to call this a weird, bizarre roadside oddity. That is something you don't see every day. Only if it still st stood in the middle of the intersection. How cool would that be? How neat would that be? But anyway, guys, all right. Like I said, I'm going to let you go. So get out here to Gap, Pennsylvania. Come out here. Come out to just Lancaster County in general. There's a lot of amazing antique stores out here. A lot of amazing historical stuff out here. A lot of Amish stuff out here. It's a very interesting area that I would definitely recommend getting out to to check out. But if you do come out this area, stop in Gap, Pennsylvania and take a look at the Gap Town Clock. The Gap clock tower and check this out it is really really awesome guys but all right like i said i'm gonna let you go so as always thank you all so much for checking out this video 
be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. We can grab yourself retro rest up t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do get help putting gas in Vanabelle and a pumpkin. So we can come out to interesting places like this and check out amazing 1892 clock towers here in Gap, Pennsylvania. That is awesome. That is amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.